Hallelujah. God, God said the way that is known to test cancer will become obsolete. They will test cancer in a different way with a more with more precision in the name of Jesus. However, they test cancer right now. That's going to become obsolete. They're, they're, they're discovering, they're going to discover another way to test cancer. Hallelujah. It will be in a, in a different way. It will be more precise. Thus said the sound of the Holy Ghost. God began to reveal these things to me. Hallelujah. They will come out with a new x-ray imaging um, system or machine. You know how they take x-rays now? Hallelujah. But they're going to come out with a, with a new x-ray. Hallelujah. Imaging in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now listen. God showed me, he said that there will be a new break. Artificial intelligence is already pro proving to be quite the game changer in hospitals and medical facilities around the world. We've talked about how AI is being used for everything from brain surgery to mind reading and the potential of revolutionizing cancer detection. Now, tonight we're going to talk about colonoscopies. It turns out AI is helping doctors prevent future colorectal uh, cancer diagnoses. And we're going to show you how it works. Just a warning. Uh, a colonoscopy is an invasive procedure. So here it is on the left. A doctor is scanning the area with their naked eye on the right. The same scan is happening, but using AI assistance. See that little green bo box that keeps popping up. That's the AI showing the doctor an area of concern and it allows them to take a closer look. Now, a recent study predicts that AI assisted scans like this could reduce future cancer diagnoses by up to 39%. Let's bring in NBC medical fellow, Dr. Akshay Sayal. Uh, Dr. Sayal, how is AI able to detect those spots so fast and in, in real time? Hey, Gadi, yeah, this is this is really cool. I mean, so what we're talking about is using deep learning that these machines have been fed over and over colonoscopies and pictures of what a healthy colon should look like and pictures of what a healthy colon doesn't look like. And through deep learning, it's been able to actually detect this better than the human eye by about 13 percent, which Northwestern, who led the study, is estimating this could reduce future cancer diagnosis by up to 39 percent. But why is this a big deal? You know, up to 25 percent of polyps in the in the colon when you get a colonoscopy uh, colonoscopy can be missed. And if you miss those polyps, people can still get colon cancer, even though they've had those colonoscopies we always talk about. And so, you know, in talking to the doctors who led this study, what they're telling me is that it's really comforting for the doctors to have that AI by the side, looking over their shoulder, almost like a little mentor or supervisor to make sure that they're getting all the areas of concern in a, in a patient, Gadi. <laughs> comforting for the doctors, uh, I think comforting for the patients too. I mean, I, I imagine like if you're a patient, you're like, no, no, I want a doctor and I want AI. I want everybody to check as much as humanly possible. Um, I know this is going to be a, a huge deal because according to the World Health Organization, uh, this type of cancer makes up like 9% of global cancer deaths. Is this technology widespread enough to make a, a pretty big difference soon? Like when I go to the doctor, can I ask for this? That's that's the excellent question. And this is the first time in a long time that we've talked where I can say this is available today. Uh, Gotti, this device is FDA approved. Northwestern, who led the study because of the results of their study, are making this the standard of care, meaning everybody June 1st, starting June 1st, who wants to get a colonoscopy can actually ask for an AI assisted colonoscopy. And it's not just Northwestern facilities all across the country are starting to realize there's some real potential here for reducing colon cancer diagnoses. So absolutely, if you are out there, look, someone who, who needs to get a colonoscopy, do ask if, if an AI-assisted one is an option. Uh, Dr. Akshay, but wait, there's more moment. We are here for that. Um, all right, final question. When should people start getting regular colonoscopies? Like, I'm about 40 now. What are the symptoms to, to, to look out for, and how regularly should you be getting checked out? Yeah, you're getting there, Gotti. So it's it's about age 45 when, when most people should start to get colonoscopies. Now, it's going to vary depending on your personal and family medical history. I'm at about age 45. And just to review the symptoms here, you know, we, we want to look for changes in your poop patterns. As, as gross as that sounds, are you pooping? Are you having a lot of diarrhea out of nowhere? Are you having, maybe you're not going, maybe, you're, maybe your poop is just really, really thin, or maybe you're even feeling tired and your poop is normal. There's really a wide variety of symptoms, which is why we encourage this regular screening starting at the age of 45 for most people. <laughs> Dr. Akshay Sayal, thanks so much, brother. Yeah. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.
Don Roberts is lucky to be alive. No one ever thinks they're at risk for developing lung cancer. During a treatment for a kidney stone, doctors found a mass in his lung and were able to operate before the cancer spread. They would never have found it, and in all likelihood, I would not be here talking with you today. Breathe in. The CDC recommends people at high risk for the disease get screened with a low-dose CT scan. But even with regular screening, the most skilled radiologists can't spot everything. This looks normal to you. You Correct. don't see a cancer here. How often are we missing lung cancer diagnoses right now? Well, most people who get diagnosed with lung cancer unfortunately present with stage 4 metastatic disease because it has spread some place that is causing them a pain or a symptom and then they go to their doctor. So we're missing most cases of early stage lung cancer when people don't have symptoms. The possibilities are limitless. Dr. Leisha Sequest is part of a team of doctors and engineers from Massachusetts General Hospital and MIT trying to revolutionize cancer detection. Meet Sybil, an artificial intelligence program, the name inspired by the oracles of ancient Greece. We developed Sybil, an algorithm that is able to tell who might be at risk for lung cancer one, three, five years down the road. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in the U.S., killing more than 127,000 a year. The MassGen MIT study, using three sets of independent scans, found that Sybil could accurately predict whether a person will develop lung cancer in the next year, up to 94% of the time. There's an immense amount of data in a CAT scan, and we're only scratching the surface when we just look at it with our eyes. Usually a radiologist is looking for nodules or a mass, but Sybil has the power to look so closely at a CT scan that it can identify patterns of data associated with cancer even before a tumor appears. So this is AI in action. What do we see here? AI circled this area in red and said this area has a dangerous pattern. It looks like cancer might come up. Two years later, there's a cancer right in that same spot where the AI predicted it would be. That's not to say AI will replace radiologists, but the research team in Massachusetts believes Sybil's assistance is the future of the field. Is AI going to save lives? Yes, it will save lives because it will enable us to do more, see more, and manage better than we did without AI. Clinical trials for Sybil are ongoing, FDA approval likely years away. And while doctors are still studying the technology, Don Roberts, who is now cancer-free, believes technology like Sybil could help him live longer. You need every weapon you can possibly get to combat cancer. And AI could be a powerful one. Absolutely. Dr. John Torres, NBC News, Boston. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.